Welcome to Takano Koi Farm, nestled in the heart of Japan, where the art of koi breeding is passed down through generations. Today, despite the challenging weather, we're here to witness something special, a mud pond harvest in the mountains of Takia. As friends and koi enthusiasts arrive, the excitement builds, even though the skies have taken a turn for the worse. As we arrive at the pond, you can see the koi swimming in the murky water, untouched since they were introduced months ago. Soon, the harvest will begin. Before the net is cast, Takano-san has asked how he's feeling, despite the bad weather. <laughs> He replies, I'm not good, I drank too much last night. The net is dragged carefully around the pond's perimeter, slowly gathering the koi together. These are not Takano-san's best koi, but he generously shares them with friends who have long awaited this moment. The excitement builds as the koi are brought to the surface, you can hear the joy in the voices of their owners, eager to see how the fish have developed over the months in the mud pond. One by one, they are loaded onto the truck, ready to make the journey back to Takano Core Farm. Back at the facility, the koi are finally seen in clearer water. Their vibrant patterns and graceful movements are even more pronounced now. After months in the mud pond, they are in remarkable condition. Amidst the excitement, Takano-san is asked to select the best koi from the harvest. With his expert eye, he chooses a few, highlighting their unique attributes. Whether it's the balance of colors, body shape, or skin quality. あんまり染み毛散らかしないですもんね。ベストショルダー染み。これ。いやでも高野さんとこの濃いって感じじゃないこれ。うん。普通染みは別に尻尾、尻尾。なんでこれがいいですか?ワイ、ディソン。模様、
これ数,数下のやつ下のやつですかそれ今取ったやつこれこれちょっとあの炭が炭があっさりしてるやつすごくないやつ今取ったやつこの三本ですかこれ丸点あ,あ、これずっと言ってますね。片隅の大きいやつね。それだったな、俺も。確か。<笑>全部いいって言われると、これどうなっちゃうんですか。これ。ただのずちょい。失礼。ええ、すごい。ここワイって入ってるよね、これ。丸点のとこに。ワイって。ほらほら。これもいいけども。あ、この子いい。この子ちょうどいいですね、あの。一番最後。肩のあんまり大きくなくて。見れたあ,あれは写真撮って。これは綺麗ですね。これは完成だよね。これが一番だって。あれが一番だって。口に便利があって。データベース。あ、本当ですね。口に便利。あ、これです。あ、さっき出ました。それが一番。The day's harvest comes to a close, leaving behind the joy of shared passion and the beauty of koi, as Japan intended. Takano san's love for koi goes beyond breeding. It's about sharing these moments with friends and celebrating the journey of koi keeping. Until next time, we hope you enjoyed this unique glimpse into a Japanese mud pond harvest.